Hi, this is a series of videos that focus on ways to improve your performance on the Wunderlich test. This video will focus on questions involving graphs. Graphs are comprised of two elements, X and Y. X usually represents periods of time, while Y represents values. The graph lines depict several values over time. Most graph questions on the Wunderlich test present information about a process or a condition followed by five different images of graphs. Your task is to choose the graph that best matches the information described. We will now demonstrate how to choose the correct answer by using the process of elimination. Eliminate key features. Elimination can help us locate the correct answer without investing too much time on deciphering its exact outline. In order to eliminate wrong answer choices quickly, we need to find key features which can be easily spotted and compared to one another. Key features include the location of maximum and minimum points, as well as the slope's direction and acuity. Let's look at some examples. Example 1. One graph, one key feature. For this question, we can use the location of the maximum and minimum points as a key feature for elimination. The minima should be located at the third data point, the middle point of the graph. Therefore, we can eliminate answer choice B. We have two maximal points, the first and the fourth. Graphs A and E only have one maximal value. Thus, they too can be eliminated. Graph D's maximal value is the second point, and not the first, which means that we can eliminate it as well. Only graph C has the maxima at its first point. Thus, we can mark it as the correct answer. Example 2. Two graphs, two key features. Here, two graphs depict the revenue of two stores over the course of three business days. Our key feature for elimination in this case would be the proportion between the points of the two graphs for each of the three days. Since we don't know which graph resembles which store, we will also need to look for slopes. We know that the two companies increased their revenue from day one to day two, but while store A had the higher revenue on day one, store B had it on day two. Therefore, we can expect to see two increasing slopes that cross one another. Graphs A and C do not follow this logic and can be eliminated. On day three, both stores saw a decline in revenue. Because graph D presents only one decreasing slope, it too can be eliminated. Store B had a higher revenue than Store A on Day 2, and this remained so on Day 3. Therefore, this time we should not expect the lines to cross paths. Of the two remaining options, only Graph E fits this description, and we can mark it as the correct answer. Use elimination wisely, and you'll be able to save precious time on test day. Join us for additional preparation videos. You can find more questions and explanations in our comprehensive practice packs. Good luck!